In this part, magistrate saying to Xu Guangping that surely we can't solve it just by ourselves. But this time two masters came to Pingyang. Double mantises were no match for them and got killed. Then Xu Guangping asked a magistrate that sneer, Master, if you say so, then where are the bodies of double mantis? Magistrate replied to him that how can I show you, when their bodies are in ashes? Xu Guangping saying to magistrate that anyways, without their bodies, you can't convince the public. Then magistrate saying to him that doubt me, but how you doubt Mr. Immortal? Xu Guangping saying to him that Mr. Immortal, I think you are eager to get credit and thus find someone to act as master. Unfortunately, I can see through your tricks. Magistrate was angry and saying to him that although we don't like each other, how can you accuse me of this? This could ruin my reputation. I wouldn't dare make that up. Xu Guangping replied to him that I am not gonna argue with you. The state director will decide if this is true or not. To capture double mantis, I specifically invited a real master. After that, Xu Guangping gestured towards the guy and say that is Mr. Yu. He is the 32nd generation disciple of Jinyang Mountain, and he gathers the essence of his sect cultivation. With him, double mantises have nowhere to feel. Magistrate replied to him that don't waste time, double mantises are dead. I have sent a report to the state director, and Mr. Shen should be here soon. Xu Guangping was surprised and say that did you even report your fake news to him? Fine, you asked for it. At that moment, old initiator and Lin Kei reached there. Magistrate asked to them that what brings you here? Lin Kei replied to him that we were done with our business and ready to leave. Magistrate saying to Lin Kei that I have sent an urgent report to state director, and your bounty will be issued soon. Why don't you stay a few days longer? Lin Kei replied to him that you can keep the bounty for me. I will come to get it whenever I need it. Magistrate say that well. In that case, I will keep it for you. Xu Guangping smiled and asked to magistrate that are they the masters you mentioned. Magistrate replied to him that exactly. Xu Guangping put hand on mouth and say that chuckle, Wu Yuanjo, what's wrong with you? It's ridiculous to find such a young man acting as a master. Magistrate replied to him that Xu Guangping, never judge a book by its cover. We can't afford to mess with Mr. Immortal. Xu Guangping laughing ha ha ha, and saying to magistrate that you're still pretending. I bet my house on it. If he were a master, then you could have my house. Then magistrate gestured towards the Yu and asked to Xu Guangping that do you mean it? Xu Guangping thinking that I should not say that. What if he say is true? Then Xu Guangping saying to magistrate that well, I did mean it. But is he a master, we can't tell. Magistrate asked to him that then who can tell? Xu Guangping replied to magistrate that a professional, of course. Then Xu Guangping saying to you that show them what you can do. Then you show his power, and break the tree with flaming power. Everybody was shocked and say that what? What's this cultivation method? Two guy came near to you one guy saying to other that what a strong internal force. It's amazing that one can bring internal force to this level. If I am not mistaken, this should be Jinyang Mountain secret cultivation method, burning heaven hands. The other guy say that burning heaven hands, is it the same method that defeated all the masters at the Tiandu Mountain tournament? Then you ask to them that you know this method. I thought no one here would know it. Gentlemen, you are knowledgeable. One guy replied to you that thanks for your compliment. I am so lucky to witness the burning heaven hands here today. Then you ask to Lin K that by what Mr. Wu said. You are the master who killed double mantises. Lin K replied to him that I am. Then you saying to Lin K that I don't care who you cheated before, but this is related to the lives of people in Yang Prefecture. I won't let you mess up here. Lin K asked to you that so what do you want to do? You replied to Lin K that to avoid being accused of bullying you, I can give you a chance. Three moves, if you can take three of my moves, I will let you go. And what happened today will be wiped out. But if you are unfortunately killed, it will be the death you asked for. And everyone here can feast their eyes on our battle. In Crowed, one guy say that what a ruthless man, he wants to kill that young man clearly, but his words sound so hypocritical. The other guy say that alas, that young man has a lot of options with his good looks, so why be a crook? Then Lin K saying to you that as you wish. Then you show his first move. Lin K attack on you with finger power. You fell down in that attack. Xu Guangping was shocked and say that Mr. Yu are you okay, Mr. Yu. Lin Kei saying to you that three moves are too much. 
People are talking to each other and say that what happened. I don't know, I just saw the young man pointing his finger at the other, and then he fell. Look, look at Mr. Yu forehead. Then Chu Guangping shouted and saying to Lin Kei that killing without touching. Is this still martial arts? Right. It's witchcraft. It's a witchcraft. Magistrate saying to Xu Guangping that cut your slander. I told you that Mr. Lin was meditating in Pingyang County and killed double mantises accidentally, now what else can you doubt? Then Xu Guangping was angrily saying to Magistrate that Wu, this brat dares to kill others in public. And you didn't arrest him, but even shielded him. I will report this to the state director and convict your crime. At that moment, state director reached there. Magistrate and Xu Guangping say Mr. Shen. Xu Guangping was upset and saying to Mr. Shen that please do justice. I heard that double mantises were active in Pingyang, so I invited Mr. Yu to help. Then Xu Guangping gestured towards Lin Kei and saying to Mr. Shen, but this brat used some witchcraft and killed Mr. Yu. Mr. Wu didn't stop him, but harbored the brat instead. I hope you can make a fair judgment. Then magistrate saying to Mr. Shen that he is slandering. Mr. Lin is credited with killing double mantises. You provoked Mr. Lin for no reason, so Mr. Lin had no choice by to defend himself. After that, Mr. Shen saying to Lin Kei that I have been admiring you ever since I heard about you from Mr. Kong, and it is a great honor to meet you today. Lin Kei replied to him that you can drop the formalities. People were in suspense and say that what's going on here? Why did the prefect bow to a young man? You can't judge people by their appearance. Our empire by his martial arts. As a powerful master, it's natural to be treated like that. Mr. Shen saying to Lin Kei that you got rid of two evil men for people living here. What a blessing for Yang Prefecture. The people of Yang Prefecture are celebrating the death of double mantises. Would you like to come back with me? We are preparing a banquet for you to express our gratitude. So that the people of Yang Prefecture can see the elegance of their savior. Lin Kei replied to him that as a cultivator, I don't like noise. I killed double mantises by coincidence, so you don't need to make so much etiquette. Mr. Shen say but. Lin Kei replied to him that this trip took a lot of time and I had to go. Mr. Shen saying to Lin Kei that Mr. Immortal, take care. Mr. Immortal take care. When they reached in Long City, old initiator asked to Lin Kei. That Mr. Immortal, I have sent the spiritual herbs we got during this trip to the villa. Is there anything else you need me to do? Lin Kei replied to him that you did a great job. You can pick some herbs and go back. Old initiator saying to Lin Kei that I gained a lot from your guidance along the way. I shouldn't accept more rewards. Lin Kei replied to him that Beiyun Temple is declining, and it needs to revive its reputation. Just take it. On the other side, some guys beating the Mr. Guo. One guy warning to Mr. Guo that one last warning. If you don't pay me back in five days, I will let your whole family suffer. Mr. Guo remained silent. Then guy saying to the companions that let's go. At that moment Mr. Guo seeing the Lin Kei and asked to him that Kei. Is that you? Lin Kei was surprised and asked to him that Mr. Guo. What happened to you? Mr. Guo replied to him that an accidental fell, I am okay. Mr. Guo was crying because of pain. Then Lin Kei saying to him that stay there, Mr. Guo. Let me help you heal your wounds. Try to move again it still hurt. Mr. Guo replied to him that it doesn't hurt anymore. Then Mr. Guo asked to him that K, when did you learn how to heal? Lin Kei replied to him that I have joined the martial arts academy, where the healing of bruises is a basic method. Mr. Guo replied to him that I heard about it. But I never thought that you could achieve this in such a short time. Your father would be very pleased if he could know about this. Lin Kei saying to him that wait here, and I will call a carriage to take you home. In Guo Mansion, when they reached at home, Mrs. Guo was upset and asked to Mr. Guo that oh my, what happened to you? Mr. Guo replied to her that it's not serious. I will be fine with a night rest. Then Mrs. Guo saying to Ning that go get some hot water. Lin Kei was standing outside of home and thinking that I had to go to Mr. Guo due to the big change in my family. He was very kind to me. But it was not a long-term solution for me to live depending on others. In the past few months. My cultivation has improved a lot. And I can finally survive on my own. At that moment, Ning came there and saying to Lin Kei that Mr. Lin, thank you so much for sending my father back. 
Then she kneeled down and saying to him that Mr. Lin, it's my fault V, I know, I belittled you before. I, I am here to apologize to you. Lin K replied to her that you don't need to do that. Miss Guo, please get up. She saying to Lin K that it's all my fault. I I hope you can forgive me and help us out. Lin K replied to him that all right, get up first. Then he asked to Ning that what trouble are you in? Then she tells him that our business was good until a few months ago. So many accidents happened in recent months. My FA cargo ship sank in the river, and then the seller kept pushing for payment. To pay back the money, NY father planned to sell the stock at low price, but nobody came to buy them in several months. So my father had no choice but to take out a loan keep his business. After that, people kept coming to ask for money. My father always reassured us not to worry, but today, Lin K saying to her that from what you said, it seems that someone is targeting you guys, Ning replied to him that my mom thinks so, too. But we do business with honesty and have no grudges. I don't know why anyone would do this to us. Then Lin K asked to her that did you report the incident of the cargo ship sinking to the police. Ning replied to him that we reported it at once. But the police replied to my father that the sinking of his cargo ship was an accident on the Torrent River. My mother heard that you were close to the Long family, so she suggested my father ask you for help, but he refused, my father said your family suffered a misfortune, and you struggled to achieve well now. He won't drag you down. But if the problem is not solved, I am afraid, Lin K saying to her that I will take care of this. Go take some rest now. Ning replied to him that thank you so much. Next day, Servant was afraid and tells the Mr. Guo that bad news. Niu Laoliu is coming with a group of men. Then Niu saying to Mr. Guo that get your ass out of there. Of I will burn your mansion down. Then Mr. Guo came outside of the room and replied to him that stop yelling. I am here. Niu saying to him that Guo. I told you to pay my money back within three days. Now the time limit has arrived. Don't try to delay anymore. Mr. Guo replied to Niu that I already paid off the principal, but you keep asking for more. I am afraid I can't give you what you want. If you force me any further, I will have no choice to report to the imperial court. Niu saying to Mr. Guo that we negotiated the terms when you borrowed the money, and I got the you you signed. It's legal to pay one's debts, no matter who you report to. Mr. Guo replied to him that I have sold my reporties to pay off the principal and I will give you the interest following the usual regulations. Please pass on my word. Ning and Mrs. Guo came there. Mr. Guo asked to them that why are you here? Just go inside. Niu saying to Mr. Guo that don't be so stubborn. If you don't have money, we can make a new deal. Our young master proposal is still valid. If Miss Guo is willing to be his concubine, then your debt can be cancelled. Mr. Guo was angry and replied to Niu that I will never trade my daughter, never. Then Niu saying to Mr. Guo that it's not up to you. Since you don't pay the money, we will take your daughter to cover the debt. After that, Mr. Guo, saying to Lin K that don't worry about me. I will take Ning and her mother to the capital. I have friends there. Let's see if they can. Lin K replied to him that I won't work. Your debtor seems powerful, so you must be under surveillance. I am afraid you might get caught even before leaving Ling City. Mr. Guo replied to him that alas, you make a good point. But I have no other choice but to try with my luck now. Lin K saying to him that now about this, I will offer you a place to hide for a few days. Once I settle the matter here, I will inform you to go home. Mr. Guo replied to him that that no. You have already been affected by this matter if anything happens to you, how can I explain to your past father? Lin K replied to him that don't worry, I got some friends in Ling Prefecture. I will go to them for help, and I think we can solve it properly. Mr. Guo was surprised and say that but. Then Lin K say that just think of it as taking the whole family out for a trip. Leave the rest to me. After some days, Nui came there with their companions. Lin K was sitting on the chair. Nui saying to Lin K that brat. I let you win because I was unprepared a few days ago. But today our young master brought people here. It's too late for you to beg for mercy. One guy ordered to Nui that cut the crap. Nui replied to him that yes, sir. The guy saying to Lin K that brat. Our Baodong Bank has no grudge against you, yet you are asking for trouble by standing up for others. How dare you covered Guo Huan and injured my men, do you wanna die? Lin K replied to him that hum. 
Then the guy saying to Lin Kei that I am a reasonable man. For the sake of your talent, I can give you a chance. First, this is none of your business, so you need to promise me that you won't interfere in this matter again. Second, count out to me three times and promise to obey my orders from now on. Then I won't kill you. As long as you do your job well, I am sure I will give you lots of rewards. Nui saying to Lin Kei that what a wonderful opportunity. You are so lucky to get it. Then Lin Kei replied to them that now that you finished your conditions, it's my turn to state mine. The guy saying to Lin Kei that okay, say it. As long as you submit to me, I can satisfy whatever you want. Lin Kei replied to him that all I want is the properties of your Baotong bank. Hand them all tome, and I won't kill you guys. Both of them shocked after listening to Lin Kei replied. The guy say to Nui that I don't care if he's crazy, just kill him. Then Lin Kei attack on Nui and, he died. Then Lin Kei asked to the guy that now, do you accept my condition? The guy was afraid and replied to Lin Kei that you, you can't kill me. My father won't let you do that. He will take revenge for me. At that time, Mr. Duan reached there, with their companions. Duan saying to Lin Kei that Mr. Immortal, your power is unparalleled. These guys deserve to die for trying to attack you. I will bring my men with you to take care. Lin Kei replied to Duan that no. You guys clean up here and bring a letter to the boss of Baotong Bank. Tell him that if he doesn't want his son to die, talk all the prosperities to Trace. Duan say that yes, sir. On the other side, in Baotong Bank, one guy opened the door and say that boss, bad news. The young master was captured. Boss was shocked and asked to the guy that Chang Wei. What happened? Four dead bodies lying outside of the bank. Boss was angry and say that how dare he threatened our Baotong bank. Then the boss ordered to the guy that go. Invite the hall masters over to discuss. Then boss saying to the hall masters that as you heard, a vicious man captured my son today and blackmailed me for all the properties of Baotong bank. It matters to my son, so I am a big mess. Why? Should I do? Please give me some advice. One master asked to the boss thy who captured your son. Why does he make an enemy of our bank? Then the boss replied to the master that it's a long story. As you know, Baodong Bank sought the cooperation of local rich, the Yi family, to gain a foothold in Ling Prefecture ASAP. Then the other master asked to the boss that yes, but what's the relationship between today's incident and the Yi family? Boss was upset and replied to him that I heard from Mr. Yi that his son Yi Yunchen and Miss Guo grew up together. They were in love. However, Guo Huan insisted on a young man to be his matrilocal son-in-law. Because of Miss Guo, Yi Yunchen and the young man were strained. I don't know what the young man did. He even scared Yi Yunchen into delirium and became a wreck. Mr. Yi was furious with the Guo family, so he invited me to ruin their business. With our manipulation, Guo business was already on the line in the past few months. When we were on the verge of annexing their business, a man stepped in. He killed many of my servants and even held my son hostage. I think he is the one that Guo Huan was satisfied with. Then the old master asked to the boss that but how could he be so powerful? Boss replied to him that I am confused, too. One with such power shouldn't be willing to be a matrilocal son-in-law. They or Yi family never told me that the Guo family had such a helper in that case, Mr. Yi is ill-intentioned. I will take to him after getting my son back. Old master saying to boss that put aside the Yi family first. As things stand, we might better say yes to him. Boss asked to the old master that are we gonna let him ask for more. Old master saying to the boss that don't worry. It's just a stalling tactic. Boss say oh. Then old master saying to boss that great elderly chin of the martial arts academy in Ling prefecture is an old friend of mine. I will write to ask him to come. He's a great elderly at the martial arts academy. Surely he can solve that young man. Boss replied to him that's great. In this part, boss and old master meet the academy examiner Mr. Chin. Academy examiner asked to old master that one, Baodong Bank is a large one. Why can't it even deal with an abductor? Old master replied to him that given that he killed my men without making an effort, I guess he is very powerful and not a normal abductor. Even our young master captured by him. Then the examiner saying to them that according to you, he shouldn't be an ordinary guy. If he is a martial artist, your servants surely can't fight against him. Old master replied to him that yes, you're absolutely right. So I had to ask you for help. 
Then examiner saying to him that well, for the sake of our connection, I will help you. But my premise that whether your young master can be saved or not, you pay me the same amount of money. Old master smile and replied to him that of course. After that, old man saying to boss that I am afraid that the vicious man won't dare to show up after hearing about your name. So it's better to let you take a group of people go him. Mr. Chin and I will take another group to wait around. Don't let that villain escape. Boss replied to him that you're so considerate. I will go arrange it. After few days later, boss came there with some guys. When boss seeing his son he say Chang Wei. Then Lin K asked to the boss that you are the manager of Baodong Bank. Boss replied to him that yes, I am. Then Lin K asked to him that so you brought everything I ordered. Then boss remember that old master advise him that you go calm him down and don't refuse whatever he ask for. Once he releases the young master, we will rush out and take him down. Then I will convince Mr. Chin to leave him to you, so that you can take revenge on him. Then boss thinking that I am gonna cut him in pieces. Then boss replied to Lin K that you asked for too much. And I don't own the bank alone. So I can't satisfy you. This matter originated in the Guo family. Since you wanna stand up for them, how about we cancel their debts for your sake? Lin K saying to boss that it seems you don't get the situation, Lin K saying to Duan that move now. Boss son was afraid and say him. Boss was too much upset and saying to Lin K that wait. I didn't reject you. But Baodong Bank has too many properties, and it's difficult to transfer them in a short time. I brought 100,000 tails of silver today. Please give me a few more days. Then Lin K saying to boss that if you came with respect and dealt in good faith, maybe I could have let you go. But you made the wrong choice. After that Lin K attack on Chang Wei, with finger power and he died. Boss shouted Chang Wei. At that moment, old master came there, and say that how dare you kill him. Then Lin K saying to boss that are not you tired of hiding. Those in the back, no more hiding, come out. Mr. Chin was surprised and say that Lin K. It's you. Lin K say that interesting. Then, boss requested to Mr. Chin that you have seen this. He killed my son indiscriminately. Please do me justice. After that, Mr. Chin saying to Lin K that in the academy, the dean got your back, so you can act wildly. But now, no one can help you today. You must pay for what you have done. Lin K asked to him that don't you remember that you once lost to me. Who gave you the guts to provoke me again? Brother boss saying to Lin K that how dare you. You would better to kneel and beg for mercy or. Lin K replied to him that nope. You're the ones who should kneel and beg for mercy. Mr. Chin was angry and saying to Lin K that how dare. I must kill this bastard. Then Mr. Win called the green monster, an attack on Lin K. Lin K save in that attack. Then Lin K attack on Chin with fingers power, but this attack didn't affect the Mr. In. Boss asked to the old master that how could this brat find off all Mr. Chin attacks. Will Mr. Chin still win? Old master replied to him that don't be silly. Mr. Chin is one of the great elders of the martial arts academy. Don't you see that brat can only play defense. But he is indeed more powerful than we expected. I am afraid it won't be easy to capture him alive. Boss saying to old master that it doesn't matter anymore. Now I wanna watch him burn in hell. On the other side, Mr. Chin almost covered the Lin K, and Mr. Chin was near to win. Then Mr. Chin saying to Yu Xuan, that do it now. Yu Xuan ready to attack on Lin K and saying to Lin K that you have humiliated me so many times, today, I am gonna make you pay the price. At that moment, Lin K called the dragon. Then dragon attack on Yu Xuan and Mr. Chin, their companions all of them died. Only boss and old master remain alive. Boss tried to run away from there. Then Lin K attack on boss, and boss was die. After that, old master kneel down and request to Lin K that please. Don't kill me, Lin K asked to him that talk. Why are you targeting Mr. Guo and his family? Old master replied to him that it's the manager and the Yi family. They did this all, and I didn't know this before. Please show mercy on me. Then Lin K saying to him that Yi family. Are you trying to pass the buck? Old master replied to him that I dare not. It was the manager idea. He was trying to win the favor of the Yi family. If you spare my life, I will go back to county and the properties and hand them all over to you in three days. Lin K replied to him that well, since you have put it that way, I won't kill you then. Old master saying to Lin K that thank you so much for your kindness. 
On the other side, in Kong Mansion, Mr. Yi came there, and requested to Mr. Kong that please help me, Mr. Kong was surprised and asked to him that what's the matter. Yi was afraid and say I, and tells all the incident. Mr. Kong was shocked and saying to him that alas, so you turned Baodong Bank against the Guo family, and no matter who the winner was, you could get benefit from it. But you know what Mr. Lin is capable of. No one can fool him around. Yi was kneeled down and saying to Mr. Kong that the Xiao family has already been wiped out by him. And I am afraid my family is gonna be the next. Mr. Kong, you have gotta do something to help my family. Mr. Kong saying to him that help you. How? You stirred his up, and no one can save you now. Judging by what Mr. Lin has done today, all men in this city couldn't deal a damn damage to him, let alone my men. Besides, if I offer help to you with this, I am afraid he will consider my family as his enemies as well. Yi was upset and replied to him that but, if we don't do something, my family is gonna. Mr. Kong saying to him that alas, you shouldn't have done that. Your only option now is to beg for his forgiveness. On the other side, in Lanhu Villa, Lin K meet Duan. Duan tells the Lin K that all the bills and land deeds of the Yi family are here. The lords of the Yi family knew that what he did was unforgivable, so he committed suicide the day before yesterday. And they found a suicide note on his body. He asked his butler to sell all his properties and bring all the money to you. He only wished that you would show mercy on the others in his family. According to our sources, it should have nothing to do with the others. I went to Yi Mansion, and saw the young master of the Yi family. He's almost demented. I think he won't be able to get involved in this. Lin K replied to him that well, I will let him go then. Nice work. Pick some you like. Duan say that thanks for your generosity. After that, Lin K going towards the academy and thinking that I have been gone a long time. It's time to go. Back to the academy. In academy, elder master saying to Lin K that alas. Why would Qin Ancheng do such a stupid thing this time? As a member of the martial arts academy. We are supposed to stick to our hearts and pursue the higher realms. He lost his life because of those trifles. So pathetic. Lin K asked to him that are you blaming me for this? Elder master replied to him that stop saying that. I am gonna turn 80 this year. We both know that, with your current strength, no one is a match for you. Let alone convict you. If you killed him within the territory of the academy, I surely would punish you by the rules. But you didn't. He picked on you outside the academy, and it was personal. So he should be responsible for his action. He was not as good as you. So he got defeated and killed. He asked for it, it's just that he worked with me for over 20 years, and I am bit sad when I hear of his death. I pretty much know the story now. Keep it between you and me. I don't want a third person to know about this. After all, it's no good for the reputation of our academy. I am old. This academy is everything to me. Hope you will say yes. Lin K replied to him that I see. After that, Lin K came their home. Jia Dafa and Xiao Jing saying to Lin K that welcome back. Boss, welcome back. Then Lin K asked to them that him, how are you guys doing? Jia Dafa replied to him that thanks to the pill you gave me, I am a fast in pretty much everything. I think I will become an advanced martial artist soon. Then Lin K asked to Xiao Jing that what about you? She replied to him that I am gonna be an advanced martial artist soon as well. Lin K say that good. Then Lin K saying to Jia Dafa that walk with me. Jia Dafa replied to him that yes, sir. Lin K asked to Jia Dafa that are there any changes in the academy recently. Jia Dafa replied to him that nothing special. But speaking of changes, it's said that the academy is preparing a big event recently. And even martial brother Xu Jiqing, who has been on duty outside, also came back. Then Lin K asked to him that Xu Jiqing. Who is he? Jia Dafa replied to him that it is said that he is called the only genius in the last hundreds years, and is the most outstanding disciple of our academy. And he has already reached the nine grade of martial master, and only a half step to the grand master. You should know that. He's just at this thirty. Then Lin K asked to him that oh, then why have I never heard of him before? Jia Dafa replied to him that I guess it's because he has been working for the imperial court. As the trainer of Chiu forces in Southeast District. The best forces in the country. Lin K replied to him that oh, I see. Then Jia Dafa saying to Lin K that of course, no matter how powerful he is, he will never be a match for you. 
At that time, two guy came there, and saying to Ja Dafa that big talk. Ja Dafa was angry and asked to them that we are talking. What's it got to do with you? One guy replied to him that it's true that you guys speaking all of others has nothing to do with us. But you guys shouldn't have said that about Marshall brother Shu. Ja Dafa saying to them that oh, I don't follow you. The guy replied to him that you look young, so I guess you just got in here. Then how dare you said that nonsense. Given that you don't even know Marshall brother Shu, you would better tack that back and apologize. Or we will beat the shit out of you. Ja Dafa saying to them that you can give it a try. One guy going toward Ja Dafa and saying to him that fatty, you just chose the hard way. Let me teach you the manners. Ja Dafa replied to him that cut the crap. Bring it on if you dare. The guy was angry and say humph. You ask for this. Then the guy ki k on the Ja Dafa chest. Then Ja Dafa pushed him back with their cultivation power. The guy saying to Ja Dafa that man, I admit that I belittled you. Shu saying to Ja Dafa that nice trick. You do get something. We are sorry, and hope you can forgive us. Then the guy saying to Shu that you don't need to apologize to him. I can defeat him, I swear. Shu replied to the guy that's enough. You are embarrassing yourself. Then Shu saying to Lin Kei that I am Shu Jirqing, and you must Lin Kei. I happened to hear about you just a while ago. I heard that you defeated by Yu Xuan and Yi Qingling. Lin Kei replied to him that yes, it's true. Then Shu saying to Lin Kei that so you must be the best of the freshmen. Ja Dafa replied to Shu that of course, my boss defeated them all even without an effort. Shu saying to Ja Dafa that it's good for the young to be confident, but you guys should learn to be modest. Because there is always someone who is the better than you. It won't do you any harm to keep a low profile. It's a friendly reminder. In case one day you mess with the wrong people. Then Lin Kei asked to Shu that someone who is better than you. Are you referring to yourself? Shu Trun his face and replied to Lin Kei that's all I can tell. Hope you candy figure it out for yourself. After that they are walk away from there. The guy saying to Shu Thar why did you stop me back there? We should teach those two arrogant bastards a lesson. Shu replied to him that we have bigger fish to fry. No need to waste our time on such trifles. After some days ago, examiner saying to all the academy disciples that we are here today because I have an important announcement to make. I guess you all already knew that in a few days there will be the UNWU festival, which is a grand meeting for us, martial arts practitioners. As was the case in the past, the imperial court would award those who performed well on that day, to encourage us to practice harder and to find more talents. So, we and Yanggong Martial Arts Academy will jointly hold a tournament. Both academies will send their best student to complete. The winners were not only given generous rewards, but also the chance to hold important posts in the imperial court. Therefore I hope you will practice hard in the coming days and win honor for our academy. One guy saying to their friend that a tournament, with Yanggong Martial Arts Academy, it is only held once every three years. I guess the dean will take us to the scene to have a look. This is exciting. The guy replied to the guy that stopped that. Why don't you want to fight in the ring? This is your chance to make your mark. The guy was surprised and saying to the friend that chance. Well not. Haven't you heard that even Shu came back for this tournament? He is the most outstanding disciple in our academy. Even a man of his strength could only serve as a trainer in the army. So people like us had better give up those unrealistic ideas early. Friend replied to the guy that alas. You're right. On the other side, in Lingzhou Martial Arts Academy. One guy saying to the elder master that isn't this Mr. Sima. Are you ready to lose to me? You have brought so many people, but I think most of them are here to make up the numbers. Elder master saying to the guy that Jin Shuncheng, stop putting on that cocky face. You guys were just lucky to beat us last time. But this year, we have so many talented disciples in our academy. You would open your eyes and watch it. Jin Shuncheng replied to him that oh, really? I think you are bluffing. Then Jin Shunchang asked to the disciples that you are all new faces here this year. Where is your once in a century genius? Why didn't he join us? He is not too scared to join us, is he? Then Elder Master replied to him that Xu Jirqing has served in the Imperial Court, so he can't fight for us. Jin Shunchang saying to the Elder Master that I feel so sorry for you. The only able disciple of yours can't take part in the competition. I guess you guys don't stand a chance in this competition anymore. You guys better given up and be a audience. 
lest you bring disgrace to yourselves. Then Elder Master saying to him that you are still so good at boasting. But we're not gonna give up because of what you're saying. Let's fight it out in the ring. Next day, competition start. One guy announced that welcome to our venue. Today is the Triennial Yuanwu Festival. You are all the future of our country. On the occasion of this festival, we gathered together to have a friendly match. Hope you guys can benefit a lot here and make more achievements in the future. Jin Shunchang was angry and say humph. Jia Dafa saying to Lin Kei that I never thought I could take part in this competition. Thanks, boss, Lin Kei asked to him thy what's your plan? Are you gonna take a place? Jia Dafa replied to him that I have made great progress under your training, but there are many though rivals here. I am afraid. I, Lin Kei saying to him that relax. What matters is not winning but participating, isn't it? And maybe you can make a blockbuster. MG Adafa was surprised and asked to him that me. A blockbuster. Lin Kei replied to him that yes, I think you definitely have the strength to bear most of the opponents here. Then Jia Dafa saying to Lin Kei that you really think so. Lin Kei replied to him that there is a saying that the best way to learn is to learn more the best you have my help, of course, you're gonna win this. Jia Dafa saying to him that you are right. I have learned from you so long. I am a different man now. Lin Kei replied to him that that's right. Just go and sign up. After that, Xiao Jing asked to Lin Kei that sir, though Jia Dafa has made rapid progress, his foundation is poor. Would it be reckless to let him take part in the competition? Lin Kei replied to her that although strength is important, I think what Jia Dafa lacks most is the courage to face the enemy and practical experience. Trust me, what he has gained from this time will benefit him for the rest of his life. Then the guy say that now, I announce. The competition starts. The students of both were ready for competition. The first competition started, Jia Dafa win that competition. Then Jia Dafa saying to the guy that have you finished. Then it's my turn now. Elder Master tells to the Jin Shuncheng that he's got a strong body. That day, all competition wins the Ling Academy. At night, Mr. Wang came into the resident of Mr. Jin Shuncheng and asked to him that why are you so angry. Jin Shuncheng replied to him that Mr. Wang, you're here, finally. Then Mr. Wang say that shush. Keep your voice down. Shuncheng smile and say that my bad. Then Mr. Wang asked to him that all right, make short of long. Just tell me what do you want me to do? Jin Shuncheng replied to him that I thought we could win this game. But I didn't expect that Martial Arts Academy of Ling City got a lot of excellent disciples this year. Mr. Wang tells to him that they have been established for more than 1000 years, after all. Although they lost the game last time, it doesn't mean that they have fallen. Then Jin Shuncheng saying to him that this competition is very important for us, and we can't afford to lose. I paid a lot of money for this Luwe Croton powder, which is the strongest laxative in the world. Go find a way to put it in their food. Let's see if they can still win the game when they have diarrhea. Mr. Wang was surprised and say um. Then Jin Shuncheng saying to him that don't worry. This is the last time. Once you get the done, we will be even. That's it. We're even now. Jin Shuncheng say that you have my word. Mr. Wang mixed the powder in food. After eating the food, Jia Dafa feel rumble in belly and going towards the washroom. Then he came back and tells the Lin Kei that's so weird. They all keep using the washroom this evening. After that, Lin Kei going outside and he find what they all student face that problem. Mr. Wang and the chief both was kneel down in front of Lin Kei. Lin Kei bring the powder bottle and say that is Luwe Croton powder, the strongest laxative. In this part, Jia Dafa asked to Lin Kei that did that make us have diarrhea. Lin Kei replied to him that right. After taking it, you will feel your limbs weaken in tomorrow game. It's quite easy to defeat you. Jia Dafa saying to Lin Kei that I will tell Mr. Sima. Lin Kei replied to him that no. Let me make it clear. Then Lin Kei asked to them that why did you put the laxative into our food. The guy gestured towards Mr. Wang and say that he asked me to do this. I had no idea that was the laxative. Then Lin Kei saying to Wang that well. Explain it. After that, Lin Kei going towards the martial arts Yunyang camp, where they were sitting and drinking. One disciple saying to the other that don't drink too much. Mr. Sima may punish us if he knows it. The other guy replied to him that don't be afraid. He is fully engaged in dealing with martial arts academy of Ling City now. The other say that he is right. 
Don't drink too much, since we are gonna take part in the competition tomorrow. The others say that I assure we can handle those guys even if we are drunk. Lin K reached there and say that really. They all were surprised and asked to Lin K that who the hell are you? Then Lin K asked to them that you are contestants on behalf of Martial Arts Academy of Yunyang, aren't you? One guy saying to Lin K that are you from Martial Arts Academy of Ling City? Why are you here? Come to beg for our mercy. Lin K replied to him that you get me wrong. What I want is to talk you into giving up tomorrow. The guy was surprised and asked to Lin K that give up. Are you kidding? Lin K replied to him that I never do that. Then the guy asked to Lin K that who do you think you are? Lin K replied to him that well, my fist will tell you who I am. If you refuse, it will punch you with my fist. And I won't stop until you say yes. Next day, Jin Shunchang asked to Wang that what's going on. Wang replied to him that fell over the valley last night. Then Mr. Wang announced that after a two days competition, both of you have the best contestant. And today, it's the second part. Namely, defending your place in the competition. You can choose your rival at your will and then fight with him. If you win, keep picking your rival. If not, you're out. And the last one standing on the stage is today winner. Now, welcome the contestants from Martial Arts Academy of Ling City. The condition of the Ling City Martial Arts Academy were not well. Jin Shuncheng thinking that my laxative must take effect. They will lose it definitely. Then Mr. Wang say that in Martial Arts Academy of Yunyang but not show any disciple of Yunyang Academy. People were surprised and talking to each other and say that where are they? Have no idea. Maybe still sleep now. They are late for such a crucial competition. They don't take it seriously at all. Then Elder Master asked to Mr. Jin that none of your disciples show up after such a long time. They may get cold feet and give up. King say that since those disciples didn't show up, Martial Arts Academy of Ling City is today winner based on the rule. Then King asked to Mr. Wang that what do you think? Mr. Wang replied to the King that what you said is correct. I will announce the result right now. Then Mr. Wang announced that since Martial Arts Academy of Yunyang gives up. Martial Arts Academy of Ling City is the winner in this part. Mr. Jin was angry and walk away going towards the camp. Then a guy tells him that sir, we found where they are. Mr. Jin saying to the guy that show me. Then they see that disciples were tied with the tree. Then Mr. Jin order the one guy that don't just stand there. Go loosen the rope. After that Mr. Jin saying to one guy that they were attacked by someone. I suppose they are unable to take part in the competition in a while. I have arranged for people to send this message and ask for help by riding the horse. That, only you can still represent our martial arts academy. The guy was surprised and asked to Mr. Jin that me. Mr. Jin replied to him that exactly. You are better than the rest. Please buy us some time. After that, the competition started between the both side of student. Mr. Wang announced the result and say that in the first match Martial Arts Academy Yunyang won the first contest. Then second match start. Martial Arts Academy of Yunyang won the second contest. Martial Arts Academy of Yunyang won the third contest. Everybody was shocked that happened. Then Martial Arts Academy of Yunyang won the fourth contest. After that Jia Dafa contest from the Martial Arts Academy of Ling City. Mr. Jin saying to Soma that no one can represent your academy, right? Didn't expect you to send this fat guy to take part in the competition. Mr. Sima was angry and replied to him that don't judge my disciple from his appearance. Then Mr. Jin saying to him that I have seen all competitions. He joined in. Just an intermediate martial artist. He stands no chance of fighting with a professional martial artist. Mr. Sima say humph. On the other side, Yunyang disciple saying to Jia Dafa that I saw all of your competitions. You're no match for me, to be honest. Just give in. Jia Dafa replied to him that I went to great length before fighting with you. I won't ever give in. Lin Kei saying to Jia Dafa that well done, Dafa. You can't give in as my student. Then Jia Dafa ready to attack on the guy and say that watch this. And attack on the guy. Guy kneel down and request to Jia Dafa that I give in. Then Mr. Wang announced that Martial Arts Academy of Ling City won the fifth competition. Since there's no another contestant from Martial Arts Academy of Yunyang, I announce that the final winner of this part is Martial Arts Academy of Ling City. Suddenly a guy say hold on. 
One disciple of Martial Arts Academy of Yunyang came there and asked to them that who told you that no one could take part in the competition. Then Mr. Jin saying to the guy that you are finally here, Hong Lai. Hong Lai replied to Mr. Jin that there is no point in asking me to join in a competition that is full of dilettante disciples. Mr. Jin saying to Hong Lai that cut the crap. It's your duty to fight on the behalf of our academy. We will lose it if you don't take it. Hong Lai replied to him that just nobody. I will show you how I defeat them. Then Hong Lai going towards Jia Dafa and saying to him that there's no way you can win. At that time, Elder Master saying to Hong Lai that wait. Then Elder Master saying to Jia Dafa that you're no match for him. Jia Dafa just stepped back. Mr. Jin asked to Mr. Sima that so are you gonna give in. Mr. Sima replied to Mr. Jin that right. We lose this competition. Then Jia Dafa was upset and asked to Mr. Sima that I have not fought with him yet, sir. You told me to be persistent and rise to challenges, didn't you? How come we give in? Mr. Sima replied to Jia Dafa that there are still opportunities for us. But today, we lose. Then Hong Lai saying to Jia Dafa that what I planned is to beat you to death. Forget it. Since Mr. Sima says you lose, I can let you go. But only if you kneel down and say people in your academy have no guts. Jia Dafa was angry and replied to Hong Lai that I will obey what Mr. Sima said, but no one can humiliate us. I won't give you this chance to humiliate our academy. Hong Lai saying to him that well, you really impress me. But you will regret your decision soon enough. After that Hong Lai came near to Jia Dafa and force him to say that everyone in your academy has no guys. Jia Dafa replied to him that no way. Then Hong Lai asked to him. That kneel down or not? Jia Dafa replied to him that no. Then Hong Lai put feet on Jia Dafa leg with force and break it. Jia Dafa cry ah. Then Hong Lai caught Jia Dafa hair and saying to him that see. What you adhere to is pointless. You only suffer from it. Jia Dafa replied to him that this is not over. Mr. Lin will get back at you for me. Then Hong Lai asked to him that who is he? Your partner. At that time, Lin Ke came there and saying to Hong Lai that let go of him. Jia Dafa apologized to Lin Ke and say that sorry to let you down. Lin Ke replied to him that no. You did a good job. Then Hong Lai saying to Jia Dafa that turns out he is Mr. Lin, right? He is quite weak, isn't he? I am afraid you're too much for him. Jia Dafa replied to Hong Lai that shut up. How dare you talk nonsense in front of him. Then Hong Lai asked to Jia Dafa that so what will he do to me? Lin Ke replied to Hong Lai that let him go. I will fight with you. Then Hong Lai say that is interesting. After that Hong Lai attack on Lin Ke. Lin Ke saying to him that didn't expect you to be so agile. Hong Lai thinking that he is quite dangerous. Better end this fight ASAP. Then Hong Lai called the Red Louts blast an attack on him, Lin Kei stopped the attack with finger power. After that, Lin Kei saying to Hong Lai that good move. But too weak for me. Then Lin Kei called the thunderstorm power an attack on Hong Lai. In that attack Hong Lai tried to walk away, at the end he died. Then King saying to Mr. Sima that he is so strong. Then King asked to Mr. Sima that is he your top student. Mr. Sima replied to him that exactly. Then King asked to Mr. Jin that any other disciple will fight with him. Mr. Jin was shocked and remained silent, then King ordered the Mr. Wang that just announced the result. Mr. Wang replied to him that got it. Then Mr. Wang announced that the winner of this competition is Martial Arts Academy of Ling City. Ling Academy students were happy and say that Martial Arts Academy of Ling City. After that Lin Kei saying to Mr. Sima that the Colonel of Chiu guards. Mr. Sima replied to him that right. It's quite an honor. General Chiu was impressed by you after seeing what you got in the fight. And he decided to hire you as the Colonel of Chiu Guards right now. Please take it. Lin Kei saying to Mr. Sima that all I want is to improve myself. Don't want to serve as the Colonel at all. Mr. Sima replied to him that I know you get a lofty ideal. But serving as the Colonel won't district you from improving yourself. Think about it. After you come back, look forward to your decision. On the other side, in Lanhu Villa, Lin Kei thinking five elements spiritual energy aggregation formation is quite basic. All spiritual energy it gets for me to improve my skills. Better create another formation spirit. Then Lin Kei called the dragon and saying to dragon that here is my home. Just safeguard it for me. Don't want anyone to come here. 
and try not to be noticed. Then Dragon Roar in replied. After some time later, two soldiers came there, they are talking to each other and say that the house for our new colonel. Right. Then the soldiers say that the general must get confused to hire him. There are so many colonel in the guards, but every people we met on the way here said Mr. Lin is so well connected in Ling City. Humph. Just some tricks used by him. I will beat him to death if he uses it in front of me. The general valued him for a reason. We can't rude to him. Then they call Mr. Lin. Then Mr. Lin came out from the home and asked to them that who are you? Why are you here? One soldier replied to Lin K that we served in the Chiu guards, and we are here to pick you up at the command of the general. Lin K asked to the solitor that picked me up for what? Soldier replied to him that the general has ordered the appointment of you as the colonel of the Chiu guards. Lin K saying to him that yeah, I remembered now. Sima Chang Kong mentioned it to me once, but I refused. Then why did the general give his order all of a sudden? The other soldier was angrily asked to Lin Kei that how dare you say that about the general. Lin Kei asked to them that him. Is that you guys invite me? The other solitor was angry and going towards the Lin Kei and say that how dare you badmouth the general in front of us. I must teach you a lesson today. The first solitor say Captain 2, stop. Captain 2 attack on the Lin Kei. Then Lin K with the power of finger attack on Captain and he fell down. Then Captain saying to Lin K that looks like I have belittled you. Then Captain called the flame fist power and ready to attack on him. At that moment, a guy reached there and say that stop. The soldier was afraid and say that you are. Then the guy saying to him that I am Chin Muji, the commander of Ling Prefecture Military Division. You guys must be messengers from Chiu guards. Solitor replied to Mr. Chin that yes, we are. Then Mr. Chin saying to them that Mr. Immortal is our distinguished guest. You shouldn't offend him. Captain Tu was shocked and say that Immortal. Commander Chin, you also served the army, but why do you still believe this nonsense like those ordinary people? If you hadn't just stopped me, I would have beaten him to the ground already. Mr. Chin replied to the Captain Tu that shut up. I was trying to save you. Then Mr. Chin came near to the Lin Kei and saying to him that Mr. Immortal, I beg your pardon if they offended you. They will get their punishment later. General Chiu was worried that they might screw things up, so he specially wrote me a letter asking me to come in person to invite you. Lin Kei say oh. Then Mr. Chin saying to him that General Chiu should have invite you personally, but Ling Prefecture is not his station. According to the rules of the Imperial Court, he is not allowed to come here. Although the colonel of Chiu guards won't grant you the right to dispatch troops, you only need to answer to General Chiu alone. If you can take this position, it will be of great benefit to you and your family. Besides, it's more like a consultant. You don't have to answer the imperial court. You can leave anytime you want, and we won't stop you, either. The general was just trying to make a friendly gesture to you. Hope you can understand that. Then Lin K saying to them that fine. I will go with you guys. The soldier saying, to Captain Tu that how can you be so Rick less? It was so unwise to offend Mr. Lin. He was invited by General Chiu and gonna be our colonel. Captain Tu replied to the solitor that hey, don't worry. Our soldiers worship power, and I just belittled him. When he gets to our place, someone will teach him a lesson. On the other side, in the camp of Chiu guards, Shu training the soldiers and tells them that martial arts is all about making steady progress only by laying a good foundation can we go further. Horse stance is the most basic exercise. Although it is simple, it is not easy to maintain it for a long time. You need to practice hard. At that time, Mr. Zhang came there, and say that Mr. Shu, here you are. I have been looking for you. Then Shu asked to him that Mr. Zhang, what can I do for you? Mr. Zhang replied to him that I heard that the colonel appointed by the general will take office today and everyone is preparing to meet him. Xu was surprised and asked to Mr. Zhang that colonel. Why haven't I heard the general mention it? Mr. Zhang replied to him that no idea. Maybe it was the general last minute decision. Then Xu asked to Mr. Zhang that what was the general thinking. According to the rules, the colonel should be promoted from among us. How could he just hire one directly from outside? Mr. Zhang replied to him that who knows. Let's go and have a look. After that four guys calling to Mr. Xu and Mr. Zhang. Then Xu and Zhang replied to them that Mr. Yang, Mr. Guo, Mr. Fan, Mr. Wan. 
Mr. Fan saying to them that I heard that our new colonel is a young man under the age of 20. More importantly, he is only a martial artist. The general move is really a mystery. I don't know what the general was thinking. Mr. Yang say that don't be. It must be another nobleman's son who came to earn the meritorious military service. Our country advocates combat force. If you want to make great achievements in the imperial court, you must have the background of joining the army. Then Mr. Wan replied to the Yang that nope. Mr. Yang, I am afraid you still don't know what our new colonel isn't from a noble family. Speaking of which, he may have some connections with Mr. Xu. Mr. Xu was surprised and say that have a connection with me. The Mr. Wan saying to Xu that you don't know that. He is from the Ling Prefecture Martial Arts Academy, just like you. Then Xu thinking that from Ling Prefecture Martial Arts Academy a martial artist. Is the general crazy? Or is he dissatisfied with our daily work? So he deliberately appointed a martial artist as a colonel to humiliate us. Then Mr. Guo saying to them that I don't care where he is from. HD wants to be our colonel. He must have the corresponding strength. Otherwise, I would never have recognized him as a colonel. Then Mr. Fan replied to him that yeah. Not even with the general backing him up. Mr. Yang saying to them that we gotta teach him a head on blow at the first encounter and teach him a lesson. At that time, Lin Kei came there, riding on the horse. Mr. Guo thinking that here he comes. Xu was shocked and say that Lin Kei. Mr. Guo throw the spear towards Lin Kei, but Lin Kei save in that attack. Then Lin Kei came near to Guo and asked to them that did you just throw that spear at me? Mr. Guo replied to Lin Kei that yes, it's me. This is a military stronghold, and no one can ride a horse without our permission. Then Lin Kei punch on Mr. Guo cheeks and teeth came out from his mouth. Then Lin Kei asked to them that your permission. Do I need that? Then Xu saying to Lin Kei that this is the camp of Chiu guards. Stop fooling around. Just bow to Mr. Guo and beg for his forgiveness. And I will intercede for you, too. Maybe Mr. Guo will spare your lift for the sake of me. Then Lin Kei asked to Xu that I am the colonel. I am the colonel. Why didn't you salute me? Xu was shocked and say that colonel. Don't be ridiculous no one will believe your words. You're just a martial artist. You have no strength or power. How dare you pretend to be the colonel. You must be coveting for death. Then Lin Kei show the appointment letter and saying to them that here is the letter of appointment. Take a closer look. Mr. Zhang was upset and say that it's true. Xu say that no way. There must be something that went wrong. Then Yang replied to Xu that yeah. There is no way that the general would appoint a brat as the colonel instead of us. The Fen say that this is a military camp. It's not a place where you can joke around. Then Lin Kei asked to them that so you guys wanna disobey the order. Then Mr. Zhang came near to Lin Kei and replied to him that we didn't mean to give you a hard time. But you are just an ordinary martial artist. It's hard to convince the people that you're gonna be the colonel. Lin Kei say oh. Then Zhang saying to Lin Kei that if you want to be the colonel you have to prove to us that you have the corresponding strength. If you can beat any of us, we will recognize you as the colonel of the Chiu guards. Then Mr. Yang say that yeah, Miss Zhang is right, you can pick anyone to be your opponent. But I have to remind you, once we start fighting, don't expect us to show mercy. Lin Kei replied to him that don't bother. You guys can go together. Mr. Yang and Fan was shocked and say that how dare. Then Mr. Zhang saying to Xu that we gave him a chance. But he is so unappreciative. So if we accidentally kill him later, I hope you won't blame us. Mr. Xu replied to Zhang that go ahead. If you guys kill him, we won't blame any of you. And we even will be grateful to you for killing the black sheep for us. Then Lin Kei saying to them that since you didn't want to make a strike first, let me do it. Then Lin Kei attack on the Mr. Yang, Wan, Fan and Guo. They all fell down, Lin Kei saying to them that is all you have got. Too weak, to be my subordinates, as the colonel of Chiu guards, now I announce, that you are fired. Mr. Xu was shocked and saying to Lin Kei that on what basis? You have no right to fire us. At that time, general reached there, and he tells them that he is the colonel of Chiu guards, so what he said holds. In this part, general asked to them that I already knew what happened just now. I invited Mr. Lin here to be the colonel of Chiu guards, so his orders are my orders. Do you have any objection? After that general saying to Lin Kei that thanks for coming. Sorry I couldn't meet you in person. 
I will arrange a welcome party for you immediately. Lin K replied to him that don't bother. Let's get right to the point. General say that I am all ears. Lin K saying to him that since you invited me here to teach, I don't want anyone else to intervene in teaching, including you. General replied to Lin K that you have got a point there. Lin K saying to him that is for how I teach them, I have my plan. But as you know, I am the colonel of Chiu guards in name, but I am actually just a consultant. The law of the army is not binding on me. So I don't want anyone to restrict my freedom. General replied to him that of course. Then general saying to Lin K that Mr. Chin told me that this man had offended you before. So I specifically brought him here for your disposal. Lin K replied to him that since we are in a military camp, let's act according to the military law. Then general ordered to guards. That drag him down and flog 100 times. Guard replied to him that yes, sir. After that Lin K saying to the soldiers that I have taught you guys the longling body forging techniques. As officers, you should think and practice more. You can only teach your soldiers better when you have mastered. Do you understand? They all say that yes, understood. Then general saying to Lin K that Mr. Lin you are amazing. And the longling body forging techniques taught by you are also powerful. If all the soldiers could learn this chest, our combat power would be greatly improved for sure. It's all thanks to you. Lin K replied to him that just some elementary techniques. It won't make your soldiers a match for cultivators. But it does improve their ability to survive on the battlefield. General saying to Lin K that you are right. It is very thoughtful of you to teach those soldiers according to their aptitude. On the other side, one guy say that we want to see General Chiu. Guards replied to him that no token, no entry. When General listened that sound, then he ordered to guard that go and see what happens. Guard replied to him that yes, sir. After few minutes later, guard came back and saying to general that it's Mr. Guo and the others. They are back. General say that they have been fired. Then why did they come back? Then general Chiu came there and say that Mr. Guo, hello again. Mr. Guo was angry and saying to general that humph. Out of sight, out of mind, huh. I am afraid general won't remember who I am just in a few more years. So don't call me mister. It's too much of an honor. General asked to Mr. Guo that why are you saying this? You made great contributions to Chiu guards. How could I forget you? Then Guo replied to General that we have always been loyal to the imperial court. Although my nephew is not the best, he always worked hard in your army and never slacked off. Now you fired him all of a sudden. I want to know the reason. General saying to Mr. Guo that I knew that. You guys have always been a great help to Chiu guards. And you have been doing your job great. But I have already written them a recommendation letter each. It will help them get a better job. In regard to the faux pas, I will come to apologize in person another day. Then Mr. Guo replied to him that humph. Don't bother. We haven't fallen to the point where we have to rely on other people charity to find jobs. As for the apology you just mentioned. I dare not demand an apology from you. We are here today, not to cause trouble, but to seek justice. Then he asked to the general. Thar what would people think of us if they found out fired my nephew for no reason? Then general replied to him that the army pays great attention to absolute obedience and strict enforcement of the law. I invited Mr. Lin here to be the colonel of Chiu guards. While your nephew took the lead in provoking Mr. Lin instead of obeying his orders. If other soldiers in the army had acted dealt with them by military law. But considering their contributions, I fired them instead of punishing them. I hope you can understand that. Mr. Guo saying to him that humph. So high sounding, huh. But according to the rules, the colonel has always been promoted from among those lieutenant colonels. How could you just assign a brat to be the colonel of Chiu guards? It's hard to convince us. Then general replied to him that soldiers worship power. If they didn't like that decision, they could have held a contest with me Lin, but they didn't they just disobeyed the order blatantly. In order to maintain the discipline, I had to do so. Then Mr. Guo again really say that wheel, well, well. Soldiers worship the strong, huh. In that case, you won't mind if I have a friendly fight with Mr. Lin right. Then Lin K saying to Mr. Guo that you are not qualified to challenge me yet. Mr. Guo was too much angry and replied to Lin K that how dare. I must teach you a hard lesson today. No one can save you, not even General Chiu. 
General saying to Mr. Guo that please appease your anger. I give you a personal able explanation another day. Guo, your uncle is too old to have a fight. Just take him back. I will come to apologize another day. Then the other guy replied to General that our Balian sect has made our name out there, and he just scolded me. I must teach him a lesson today. Now it's my personal grudge against him. Hope General will stay out of it. After that, General saying to Lin K that alas. Mr. Lin, you don't have to fight him. Why don't you go to get some rest and leave this mess to me? Lin K replied to General that it's okay. Since someone wants to die, I might as well give it to him. Then Feng saying to Lin K that brat, just shout when you can, but you will regret it soon. Then Mr. Guo ready to attack on Lin K, Mr. Guo tried to cut Mr. Lin on face. But Mr. Guo was not successful, Lin K saying to him that nice trick. But you are too slow. Then Lin K kicked him and Mr. Guo fell down and blood came out from Mr. Guo mouth. Then Mr. Guo again ready to attack on Lin K, Mr. Guo bring one big stone. Lin K seeing towards Mr. Guo and say that bring it on. Then Lin K called the magma impact power, an attack on Mr. Guo. In that attack stone tore into small pieces and Mr. Guo died. Then the Mr. Guo nephew came near to Lin K and saying to him that how dare you. You are so brutal. Lin K replied to him that he asked for it. Then the guy was angry and say that wait and see. Lin K saying to the guy that wait. You want to leave like this. The guy was upset and asked to Lin K that what do you want. Lin K replied to him that cut off one arm and I will spare your life. The guy say fine. Then the guy requested to Mr. Zhang that can you do that for me. Then Mr. Zhang cut the guy arm and say forgive me. The guy replied to him that satisfied. Then Lin K saying to the guy that you can go off now. Then Lin K asked to Mr. Zhang that so you guys wanna have a try, too. Mr. Zhang kneel down and apologize that I beg your forgiveness. You are so powerful, and we should never disobey you. Then Lin K asked to him that so why are you still here? Mr. Zhang replied to him that may have a word with you alone. Please, I wonder if you have ever heard of the Heroes Summit in Zhang Prefecture. Then Lin K asked to him that Heroes Summit. What's that? Mr. Zhang replied to him that it's more like a gathering of martial arts families three years. It will start in half a year. By then, martial arts practitioners from all over the world will come, discuss martial arts, have friendly fights, and exchange their experiences. Of course, the most important part of it is the trade fair. All the big families will sell some of their own cultivation chests, elixirs, treasures etc. The others can either participate in the auction or freely sell their own goods. Although this is only a grand gathering of non-governmental organizations, the experts involved should not be underestimated. In previous gatherings, there were often imperial experts. Because it's a folk gathering, there are all kinds of people. You can get some information that ordinary people can't know, and many spies sent by the imperial court also regard it as an important source of information. Lin K saying to him that in that case, it does sound quite interesting. Mr. Zhang saying to him that if you want to take part in it, I will write a recommendation letter for you. Lin K say that you must have something to ask for, right? Then Mr. Zhang saying to him that it was the first time, I have ever seen anyone using such a powerful skill. I want to be your servant and learn it from you. Lin K replied to him that I don't need a servant. But if I can get something useful in the gathering, I will consider it. Mr. Zhang say that thanks. After that, Lin K thinking that Zhang Prefecture, it's not far from home. Speaking of home, I haven't been home for a while. It's time for me to go home. On the other side, after few days ago, Lin K going in Sanhe town. He say mother, I am home. His mother was surprised and asked to him that what brings you back. Did Lord Guo mistreat you? Lin K smile and replied to her that no, he didn't. Besides, I am safe and sound. Then Lin K tells her that it's a long story. Lin K mother was upset and say that alas. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have let you go there. It is also a good thing that the engagement was cancelled. After that, Lin K replied to her that I am also here to take you to Ling Prefecture. I have run some business there. When we get there, I will hire a few servants to serve you, so you can enjoy your life without any concern. Mother saying to him that what are you talking about? Stop that nonsense. Run business in Ling Prefecture. I didn't believe you, and I won't go anywhere, either. 
Your dad and I spent most of our days here. No matter what you say, I won't leave here. Kia Ho Raha Lin K smiled and replied to her that huh, she's as stubborn as ever. She would sacrifice a lot for dad and me, fine. I will talk her out of it later. At that time, a girl came there, and say that Aunt Lin, here are your clothes. Then Aunt Lin replied to her that Chen, here you are. Come and sit next to me. Lin K was surprised and say Lan. The girl say that Lin K. After that, Lin K saying to Lan, that my mom just told me that you helped her a lot when I was not at home. Thank you so much. Lan replied to him that don't mention it. You helped me a lot, didn't you? Then Lin K thinking that what was that coldness on her about. Lin K asked to her that haven't you felt unwell recently. Lan replied to him that unwell. Nah, why do you ask all of a sudden? Lin K replied to her that nothing. I just saw your pale face. Lan replied to him that oh, I am okay. Perhaps I have lost too much blood recently. Lin K surprised and asked to her that lost blood. Then she replied to him that I was injured a few days ago. I am all right now. Lin K think that she is. On the other side, one guy looking towards the Lan, and suddenly Lan also seeing that guy. She was upset and saying to the Lin K that all right, I can walk home alone from here. Lin K saying to her that it's getting late, and it's still a long way from your home, is not it. Then Lan saying to him that I need to buy some daily necessities. You just got home, and I think you should spend more time with your mother. Lin K thinking that I wonder when Lan got that coldness. I didn't find that before due to my limited cultivation base. And the mysterious man in black. On the other side Lan was sitting on the bench and waiting the carriage to go home. At that moment, a guy say that the girl you want is here now. Then the other guy saying to the Lan that you know your parents agreed to our marriage before you were born. So did you get away from me to meet that man? I heard that he intended to marry another girl. But you're still obsessed with him. What's the point, Lan? She was upset. Then Lan father saying to Lan that make an apology and promise you won't ever meet that man. The guy saying to Lan father that no one asked you to say that. Slap yourself right now. Then Lan father slap on his face and saying to Lan that sorry, it's my fault. I shouldn't have said that. Then the guy saying to his companion that man came back, didn't he? That why you have not said anything until now. Go kill him, Kai. Kai replied to the guy that got it. Lan was afraid and say no. The guy saying to Lan that you finally talked to me. I can spare him. Only if you take off your clothes now. After tonight, you will be my wife and stand no chance of getting rid of me. At that time, Lin K reached there and saying to Lan that you don't have to do that. She saying to Lin K that get out of here. The guy saying to Lan that turns out it's him. Since he cast me here, I will deal with him tonight. Lin K replied to the guy that Lan is my friend. Stay away from her in the days to come. Then the guy say that he is caring about Lan even if his life in danger. What an affectionate guy. Then guy saying to Lan that anyway, I don't mind you watching this. Take off your clothes right now. She was afraid, then the guy came near to Lan and tried to cut her, and saying to her that hurry up. Don't waste any second. Lin K attack on the guy and cut the guy hand. The Kai asked to the guy that ate you alright. The guy replied to Kai that my hand. Then Lin K saying to the guy that I said stay away from her. Didn't you hear that? The guy ordered the Kai that I kill him. Then the guy saying to Lin K that whatever you just did to me, there is no way you could deal with my ghost formation. There are hundreds of ghosts in this collecting them took us centuries. Every single day, we feed them blood. No one is a match for them as long as I let them out. One caught by those ghosts will live in hell for good. Then the guy called the monster power. Lin K saying to the guy that I didn't expect you to have that kind of treasure. The guy replied to him that he he. You're afraid, aren't you? But it's too late. I will put you into hell in a while. Lin K replied to him all right. It's mine now. Then Lin K called the dragon nine glorious heavenly flame formula. In that attack the guy and monster died. Lan was shocked and saying to Lin K that why you seem different. Lin K replied to her that's because I learned some magic power. I can assure you, I am still your friend. Lan saying to him that my home is around a remote mountain where the witchcraft is popular among people. Feeling tired of oppression, my grandfather led our family to this place and settled down here. But people from Haifeng tribe found us and took away my brother. Even my parents were forced to agree to my marriage with that. 
If you hadn't come to save me, I would have. Then Lin K saying to her that they're there. The bastard had been gone from this world. Lin K thinking that explains why those people believe in witchcraft came to land. Her body is full of yin energy. She's born to learn witchcraft. Then she saying to him that I wanna come back to my hometown. Lin K asked her that why. She replied to him that my grandpa told me that my family had something to do with the Shi family who was known as one of the six greatest witch families. And their leader wanted me to learn from him. But my grandpa turned him down. From now on, I will keep my family safe on my own. No one can mess with us. Lin K replied to her that's great thinking. The only one you can rely on is yourself in this world. I am glad to hear that you made up your mind. On the other side, when Lin K reached home, mother asked to Lin K that where have you been last night? I was so worried about you. Lin K replied to her that I was at my friend's home. Relax, mum. No one is a match for me now. Mother saying to Lin K that stop bragging. You came to Lan's home, didn't you? She's such a good girl and I can tell she's also into you. Maybe you can. Lin K smile and replied to her that you think too much, mum. Mother saying to him that fine. At least, you come back safe and sound. K, today is our big day. Your great grandfather told everyone to attend our family meeting. Lin K was surprised and say family meeting. After some day later, the clan hall of the Ling family meeting start. Mother saying to Lin K that stay here for a while. I am gonna greet your great grandfather. Don't make any trouble, got it. Lin K replied to her that you have my word, mum. After that, three guy came near to Lin K and saying to him that it's my first time seeing you in the clan hall of our family. Sorry for not recognizing you just now. Other guy say that it also may be the last time you could see him in our clan hall. Don't you know that he will marry a girl from Ling prefecture? Until then, he may never come back. The third one say that shame on him. How could he come to our hall? If I were him, I would feel so shameful. Alas. He brings disgrace on our family. In this part, the guy saying to Lin K that to be honest, you are gonna marry that girl. So there is no room for you in our clan hall. You would better take my advice and get out of here. Lin K replied to him that you have no right to kick me out. Then the guy was angry and saying to Lin K that you're going too far, Lin K. Or talking about how to allocate lands and houses today in our clan hall. You're not welcome as an outsider. I agree and you should give away your houses and lands. Lin K asked to them that you want our properties. The other guy replied to Lin K that those belong to the Lin family, not you. And you have nothing to do with how to allocate them as an outsider. Lin K saying to him that really. I don't think so. Then the guy ready to attack on Lin K and say that you wanna break into the hall. Tell you what, we'll not let you in. After that, Lin K attack on them with his finger power, they all fell down. One guy shouted and say that help. Lin K hit us. At that moment, one man came there, and saying to them that silence. Here is the clan hall. If you make a scene, I will punish you. The guy turned and replied to him that father, it's Lin K. He was kicked out of this family a long time ago, but he still tried to break into the ancestral temple. We tried to stop him, and then he jumped on us, ouch. My butt. Then father saying to Lin K that you haven't been home for almost half a year, but he beat your brothers as soon as you come back. You should know that we have family rules. Then Lin K asked to him that I heard you guys wanna divide up my father properties. Is that true? The man replied to Lin K that should not be your concern. The thing is you just beat your brothers, which is against the family rules. You have no discipline at all. No wonder everyone calls you a bastard. Then Lin K saying to him that I beg your pardon. Man saying to Lin K that you are a bastard. After that Lin K punched on man face and man fell down. One guy say that father. Man was angry and saying to Lin K that how dare you. How dare you. Guards, kick him out. At that time, one lady came there, and asked to the man that my lord, are you alright? The man saying to guards that get him. Beat him as hard as you can. At that moment grandpa reached there, and say stop. The guy saying to grandpa that please do justice for us. Look what this awful man has done to us. The man saying to grandpa that yes, Lin K hit us for no reason. According to the family rules, he should be flogged 50 times. Moreover, he disobeyed my order, which is even more unacceptable, and he should be punished more severely for it. 
Please give the orders. Lin K mother saying to the man that talking aloud doesn't mean you are right. Don't you dare bully my son again. Everyone was watching. And grandpa knows exactly what you guys are up to. The man wife saying to Lin K mother that like mother, like son. You guys have no manners at all. Since when are women allowed to talk in the ancestral hall? Then Lin K mother asked to her that aren't you a woman, as well. Who gave you the permission to talk, huh? Lady replied to her that you. Grandpa shouted and say that's enough. We all know what's going on here. And elders will make their decision later. You have been called here to discuss the allocated of farmland, and we will also take this opportunity to test the younger generation. Come here, and make the announcement. Then old man announced that the house of Lin Yongfeng has three males in total and will get 15 hectares of farmland. The house of Lin Xinan has two males in total and will get 10 hectares. The house of Lin Zhanzun has four males in total and will get 20 hectares. The house of Lin Zhancheng have no male labor force and will get one hectare of farmland. Lin K mother was upset and saying to the grandpa that what do you mean by no male labor force? My son is right here. One guy saying to her that but he was kicked out a long time ago. So he doesn't count. The other guy say that yeah, he doesn't count. You should be great that we still gave you one hectare of farmland instead of accusing us here. Then man say that yeah, just take it and be grateful. Otherwise, we will it back and leave you nothing. Then Lin K mother kneel down and requested to grandpa that my husband is your grandson, too. Lin K is his son and your grandson. You can do this to us. Grandpa replied to her that what are you doing? Get up first and we will talk about the others. Then grandpa asked to the old man that don't you think it's inappropriate? Why don't you tell me about this before? The old man replied to him that well. Then Lin K uncle saying to grandpa that John Chung is gone and his son, Lin K, has already been kicked out of the family. We can give her more, but she has no male labor force to plow the land for her. We did this for her good and we will give her a cut of our grain when we harvest it. Grandpa say that ahem, he's got a point, maybe we could. Lin K mother asked to grandpa that my husband bought all this land with his hard-earned money. How can we just give them away like that? Lin K saying to mother that mom, don't beg them. She was weeping and replied to Lin K that I am sorry. I can't keep your father prosperity. Lin K saying to mother that mom, don't say that. Don't worry. I am here and no one can take our land from us. Lin K. Kujin saying to him that's still trying to be tough, huh? But you would better sign the paper quickly. Otherwise, you won't get a dime. Lin K. replied to him that if my father inherited those lands from this family, I wouldn't have any objection. But he didn't instead, he bought these lands with his hard-earned money. It's private property, so you guys have no right to get a piece of it. Then uncle saying to Lin K but your father used our money as his principal to earn the money. So you are in no position to accuse us of anything. Lin K replied to him that no one can take my things from me. If you dare to try, I will beat the shit out of you. At that time, one guy reached there and saying to Lin K that oh, really? Then Lin K Kujin saying to the guy that Shu Wu, when did you come? We hardly noticed that you were here. Shu Wu replied to him that just a couple of minutes ago. This brat was so arrogant that I can't help but say something. And I am gonna teach him a lesson. I hope you don't mind me doing this. The other guy say that why would we? Then Shu Wu saying to Lin K that were you just implying that you are a good fighter? It's quite rare to have everyone in the family here. So I wish you all here can be witnesses. Grandpa replied to him that we will. Then Shu Wu asked to Lin K that so you are willing to give up those farmlands as long as I beat you. Lin K replied to him that exactly. Shu Wu saying to him that good. Keep your words in mind. It's quite narrow here. Let's fight out there. Then Lin K asked to Shu Wu that what if you lose. Shu Wu replied to him that if I lose, my family will bear your losses. Lin K saying to him that not enough. Your chips are far from enough. Then Shu Wu asked to him that what are you talking about. Lin K replied to him that if you lose, you need to give 1000 hectares of land. Lin K uncle was shocked and saying to Lin K that are you insane? Even all our fields don't add to the 1000 hectares. Then Lin K replied to him that's alright. Then I will just take all you have. Old man saying to Lin K that you don't have a say here. We will take that as a joke. Just get out of here quickly. 
Then Grandpa saying to Lin K that if you want to bet that match, you have to match the bet. Otherwise, no one will bet against you. Lin K asked to them that here is a banknote of 1 million. If this enough, Grandpa was surprised and say that 1 million. Let me see it. After that, Grandpa tells all of them that it's real. It's worth 1 million indeed. Lin K asked to all of them that so now, does anyone want to play games with me? Lin K uncle was shocked and say that 1 million, oh, my dear. Our assets are not worth this much. Where on earth did he get the money? Lin K cousin saying to his father that doesn't matter anymore. As long as we win, it will be ours. Father, this could be a windfall. We can't miss it. Yeah, we should seize this opportunity. Then uncle saying to Lin K that alright, let's do this. Lin K cousin asked to the white cat that don't worry. Shu Wu is a formally registered martial artist. Lin K won't be a match for him. White cat replied to him that are you sure about this? We're talking about all our assets. But what if, then Lin K cousin replied to him that no bits. The imperial would have conferred a high office on him a long time ago. If he was really something, he will lose for sure. Then Shu Wu saying to Lin K that let me be clear. I am advanced martial artist recognized by the imperial court. Hope you won't regret this. Lin K replied to him that cut the crap. Just show me what you can do. Then Lin K punch on Shu Wu neck and at the end Shu Wu was died. Everybody was shocked that what happened. Lin K saying to uncle that you just collected everyone title deeds, right? You can give them to me now. Man asked to Lin K that I was just kidding. Please return the deeds to our lands, will you? I will tell your uncle that we won't divide up your farmland. Besides, each of us will give you part of our farmlands. What do you think? Then Lin K replied to him that you were kidding. But I was not. Then the uncle saying to him that the deeds really matter to me. You can just take them away. Lin K replied to him that I won't fight. So those are what I should get. Next day, Lin K uncle tried to convince Lin K and saying to him that no way. They are mine. And uncle tried to bring the land's paper on the table. At that moment Lin K attack on uncle E hand with one finger. Uncle was afraid and say that my hand. Then Lin K saying to him that there's no way you can put your hands on them, unless I let you. Lin K cousins was upset and asked to his father. Are you alright? One guy saying to Lin K that how brutal you are. Lin K replied to him that is a little price he paid for crossing the line. If you were not my family members, I would have killed you. After that, Lin K going towards the home. Then Lin K mother saying to him that your uncle will get back at you after you took over their farmlands. I am afraid those farmlands will put us in trouble. Lin K replied to her that don't worry, mom. All you need to think about is how to enjoy your life as a landlord. At that time, old men reached there, and say that Lin K, are you at your home? Lin K mother asked to old men that what brings you here? Grandpa replied to her that nothing. I have a word with Lin K. At that time, Lin K came there and saying to mother that make some tea, mother. I will talk to uncle. Then uncle saying to him that I know it was unfair for you to allocate your farmlands in the original way. I discussed it with others before coming here. And the decision you may take over 100 hectares farmlands and no one will stop you. But you have to return the rest to others. They also need to make a living, after all. Lin K replied to him that make a living. But none of them allowed us to make a living. Then uncle saying to him that look, Lin K. Your uncles have made a compromise. Why don't change your mind? What's the point of offending your families? Your uncles are well connected. If they report this to the authority, things will get difficult for you. Lin K replied to him that well connected. They can do anything they want. I would like to see who stickers up for them. After that uncle stand up and saying to him that you do have the deeds now. But those crops are not yours. After they reap all the crops, you can have the farmlands. Lin K replied to him that never mind. I can wait. On the other side, Lin K uncle was lying on the hospital bed and saying to their sons that those farmlands are ours. There is no way to can get any of them. They saying to father that my uncle said Lin K returned down our offer. And after we reap our crops, we will give the farmlands to him. But we have signed the contract. Father saying to them that how stupid you are. We did sign it, but we can tell others that he made us. As long as we send some money to the magistrate, he will be on our side. After three months later, family meeting held on the ancestral hall. Grandpa saying to them that today is our family celebration. 
Thanks to good weather this year, we had a splendid harvest. And according to the rule, our ancestral hall is open to every friend and guest today. All of this will help us make more friends. And we're also looking forwards to seeing how capable you are. So, just show weight you have got in front of us. There might some unexpected surprises. Lin K cousin seeing towards the Lin K and say that I assure, you, great grandpa. Everything has been put in place. But I am afraid someone will embarrass himself because there will not be any of his friends coming here. Then he thinking that I don't know where he learning martial arts skills. But that's okay. No matter how powerful he is. There's no chance he could fight against all of us. After some influential people comes here. He would better behave himself. At that time, one guy announced that welcome Mr. Shu, the owner of Tianfeng Rice Shop. The guy say that is he invited here by our seventh uncle. Lin K cousin saying to Shu that thanks for coming. All the way down here. Mr. Shu replied to him that your annual celebration is quite famous. Why would we miss it? The guy saying to Mr. Shu that I have so flattered. Please take a seat in the backyard. Then the guy announced that Mr. Lee, the owner of the Heji house. Mr. Wang, the guard in Fengping County. Welcome Mr. Luo, the magistrate of our county. Everyone was shocked and say that it's such an honor to have the magistrate here. Who invited him to this? Magistrate asked to the Lin K cousin that what happened. To your father's hand, Wendong. Wendong replied to him that I will explain it to you later, you came all the way down here. Please walk in and have a rest. One cousin saying to Lin K that someone will get in trouble for being so greedy. After that, Mr. Duan reached there, Guy asked to Mr. Duan that you re. Haitsi replied to him that this is Mr. Duan, the leader of Flying Eagles gang in the Ling Prefecture B. We are here for Mr. Lin. Please let him know. Then the guy announced that welcome Mr. Duan, from Flying Eagles gang in the Ling Prefecture. Everyone was shocked and talking to each other and say that Flying Eagles gang in the Ling Prefecture. When did people in our family make a friend with Flying Eagles gang? Who knows? But I heard of Flying Eagles gang that took over many groups and started to run their business. They are kinda in charge of the Ling Prefecture. Sounds so awful. We would better stay away from them. Mr. Duan going towards the Lin K and saying to him that Mr. Lin, I have exchanged what you have got from your business into banknotes. And here are his million banknotes. Please take a look. Everybody was shocked and say that 5 million banknote. Lin K replied to him that I see, put them aside. Lin K replied to him that yes, I am leaving now. After that, Grandpa saying to Duan that you came all the way here from the Ling Prefecture. Why are you leaving now? We all want to meet you formally. Duan replied to him that is not necessary. I came here for Mr. Lin. All I have to do is to meet him. Lin K cousin talking to each other and say that I finally figure out why he is so arrogant. Turns out a gang has got his back. Looks like that leader has shown respect to Lin K. How did he do that? Don't forget he has some money. Maybe he paid them to act. No matter how he did this or how arrogant he is, the magistrate will let him know who is in charge. Right. There's no need to fear him the magistrate heal. A. In this part, the guy announced that welcome Prince Ning. Everybody was surprised and say that Prince Ning in the Long Prefecture B. Why did he come to this poor town? The others say that I don't think anyone here is related to the royalty. Magistrate asked to the Prince Ning that what brings you down here, your highness. Prince Ning replied to him that I am here for Mr. Lin. Magistrate asked to him that Mr. Lin. Who is he? Grandpa thinking that a friend of John Zun. On the other side, uncle thinking that did Prince Ning come here for my family. I do have a few friends from the Ling Prefecture. But I never heard that they have something to do with Prince Ning. Then Prince Ning saying to Lin K that good day. Lin K replied to him that your highness. Everybody was shocked and say that Prince Ning is here for Lin K. Then Prince Ning saying to Lin K that to celebrate you on reuniting with your family, I prepared a gift for you. It's my honor if you take it. Lin K uncle was shocked and say that OMG. Am I dreaming? His highness is respectful to Lin K who is merely a poor guy from our family. Lin K cousins was also shocked and say that what's going on exactly. There is no way he could pay his highness to act, right? His royal highness did prepare a gift for Lin K. Prince Ning saying to Lin K that you're an immortal, Mr. Lin. I think something common is not good enough for you. 
This pair of bracelets are the most valuable thing at the Mirror Moon house. I got them for your mother, please take them. Everybody was shocked listen the conversation of Prince Ning and saying to each other that bracelets from the Mirror Moon house. Look at them. They're the best bracelets I have ever seen. They are worth half one million tails at least. There's no way you could buy that pair of bracelets with half a million tails. Exactly. That pair of bracelets can't be measured by tails as the most valuable thing at Mirror Moon House. Lin K replied to Prince Ning that thanks, your highness. Prince Ning saying to Lin K that as long as you like them, it's quite worth it. So, I am on my way back. Lin K replied to Prince Ning that thanks for coming here, your highness. Lin K uncle was surprised and thinking that who is he on the earth. A prince did come here to give him a present in person. I am afraid only his majesty deserves Prince Ning to do this. After that, the guy announced that the prefect in the Ling prefecture, Mr. Kong is here. Magistrate was shocked and say that the prefect in the Ling prefecture. That's the highest ranking official. What brings him down here? Mr. Kong came near to Lin K and say that good to see you, Mr. Lin. Wendong saying to Mr. Kong that didn't expect to see you here Mr. Kong. Hope you don't mind. Mr. Kong saying to Lin K that my mother has been thinking about you, Mr. Lin. Hearing that you came back, she told me to visit you. Hope you don't mind if I disturb you. Then Wendong saying to Mr. Kong that Lin K neither has a title nor position. It's not proper for you to bow to a normal person as you are the highest ranking official. Mr. Kong replied to him that Mr. Lin once saved my mother who does matter to me. Showing my respect for him is what I should do. Wendong saying to Mr. Kong that saved your mother. You mean Lin K. Mr. Kong replied to him that exactly. Mr. Lin is quite important to us. Anyone who disrespects him is an enemy to me. On the other side, Lin K uncle faint, and his son say that are you all right, father. Father replied to them that I don't think we can take our farmlands back. Suddenly the guy announced that bad news. A group of soldiers is on the way here. Grandpa and old man were shocked and say soldiers. Grandpa asked to Mr. Kong that did we do anything wrong to make you send soldiers here. Mr. Kong replied to him that I am here with a couple of guards with me. I didn't send a group of soldiers here. Let me come out and see what's going on. General came near to Lin K and say that good day, Mr. Lin. I am here with Chiu guards. Old man was surprised and thinking that are the Chiu guards, one of the most powerful forces in the court. They did also come here to visit Lin K. Lin K is much more complicated than he seems. Flying Eagles Gang, Prince Ning, the prefect in the Ling Prefecture and Chiu General. We have met a gang, an official, a member of the royal family and Chiu guards, today is the most incredible day I have ever had. I can't believe Lin K made friend with them. How lucky we are. Lin K Kujin was also shocked and say that why did he meet lots of influential people. Grandpa asked to Lin K that why are so many influential people respectful to you? How did you earn their favor? Lin K replied to him that I am just too brilliant. Grandpa say brilliant. Then Lin K asked to him that exactly. Have you ever heard about the martial arts masters? Grandpa saying to him that are you a martial master? Lin K replied to him that no. According to my competence, I am kind of a grand master based on the martial arts realm. Grandpa was shocked and say a grand master. Is that true? Not quite convinced. Then Lin K saying to him that watch this. Then Lin K show his power of cultivation. And saying to him that I have been reasonable with you as we are related. Since you're all here, it's time to give your farmlands to me formerly. On the other side, Lin K uncle leave that place with his family. Lady saying to husband that it's all your fault. Why are you so greedy? We're gonna give our farmlands to him. How will we make a living in the days to come? Lin K mother was upset and saying to him that K, your uncle never showed kindness to us. But at the sight of how upset they are, I am kind of guilty. Lin K replied to her that is because you're too kind, mother. Then mother asked to him that his wife came to me and begged me to rent a few acres of land the other day. What do you think of it? Lin K replied to her that it's up to you, mother. Just do anything you want. Then she saying to him that they have learned their lesson. I think we should stop being hard on them. Maybe you can ask them to come back and tell them you want to spare them. Lin K replied to her that yes, mother. After that, Lin K start his cultivation and thinking that I finally level up to the highest rank of my cultivation. 
With this spiritual body, I can cut my time spent on cultivation by half. After the cultivation practice, Lin Kei thinking that there is little spiritual energy and fewer top-level spiritual herbs in his world, which adds more difficulties to my leveling up. I should head out to the Zhang Prefecture. Hope the Heroes Summit won't let me down. On the other side, Lin Kei came back to the house, Xiao Jing was surprised and say that you're finally back, Mr. Lin. Lin Kei asked to Xiao Jing that why are you here? Xiao Jing replied to him that when you were gone in the past few days, I have been missing you. Sorry to come here without letting you know. Well you blame me for this, Mr. Lin. Lin Kei replied to her that sure I will. You have to clean my room. Xiao Jing saying to him that wheel, I have done the cleaning with your mother earlier. Then mother saying to Lin Kei that come over here. She was surprised and asked to him that is she a friend of yours. Lin Kei replied to her that kind of. But technically she's my maid. She saying to him that how lucky you are. Miss Yu is surely from an influential family. But once she came here, she began to clean our house instead of showing any unpleasantness. She's a good girl. I wish you will get together. Lin Kei saying to mother that you think too much. After cleaning of rooms, Lin Kei saying to Xiao Jing that you came all the way down here. Just take a rest in the following days. I will arrange for a few people to send you back to the Ling Prefecture. Xiao Jing replied to him that are you kicking me out of here? Lin Kei saying to her that no, I am leaving tomorrow. You can't stay at my home too long, right? Xiao Jing replied to him that wherever you go, I will stay with you ask your maid. Then Lin Kei saying to her that in obeying my order is what a maid should do. Come back to the Ling Prefecture in a few days. Xiao Jing asked to Lin Kei that are you going to the Heroes Summit? Lin Kei replied to her that you know it as well. Xiao Jing saying to Lin Kei that sure. And that's why I am here. After that they both are sitting in the carriage and going towards the Zhang Prefecture. When they reached on the Zhang Prefecture Mr. Zhang was surprised and saying to Lin Kei that here you are. Lin Kei asked to Zhang that how did you know I came here today. Zhang replied to him that I was afraid you would get confused about the way back here. So I have been waiting here for a few days. Lin Kei saying to him that is very kind of you. Then Zhang tells him that Hero's Summit is in three days. You may hang out for a while. I will arrange rooms for you. Lin Kei replied to him that I really appreciate it. After that Lin Kei and Xiao Jing walk away, a girl seeing towards the Xiao Jing and asked to her that is that Xiao Jing. Then the girl asked to Xiao Jing that why didn't you tell me that you also came here. Xiao Jing replied to her that sorry, I just arrived here. Then the girl gestured towards Lin Kei and say that is he. Then Xiao Jing saying to Lin Kei that let me introduce you to each other. This is my cousin, Gao Ziyu. And Hero's Summit will be held at her home. Lin Kei replied to Xiao Jing that is that so. After that, Xiao Jing came near to the girl and saying to her that wheel, this is Mr. Lin. As my job is to serve him. I wish you also to be nice to him. The girl was shocked and asked to Xiao Jing that serve him. What happened on earth? Xiao Jing replied to her that exactly. As Mr. Lin maid, I need to serve him. Then girl saying to Xiao Jing that he's quite common, Xiao Jing. You shouldn't have become his maid even if you really get along with him. Then Xiao Jing replied Ziyu that to be honest. He's not what he seems. And working as his maid is not easy for me. Why don't you introduce him to others? I can assure you that Mr. Lin is better than others also coming to the hero summit. Ziyu saying to her that he definitely put a spell on you and tricked you into being at his disposal. Xiao Jing replied to her that must be a strong word. Anyway, please have faith in me. After that Ziyu came near to the Lin Kei and asked to him that everyone coming to the hero's summit is quite influential. So, do you have any title or nickname, Mr. Lin? Lin Kei replied to her that most people call me Mr. Immortal. But I prefer you to call me Lin Haoshan. Then Ziyu saying to Xiao Jing that are you bragging? You must think too highly of yourself. Xiao Jing replied to her that he isn't bragging. People in the Ling prefecture did call him that. Ziyu saying to her that is it. I am coming back to my home. And can I borrow Xiao Jing from you for a few days? It's been so long since we last met. I really want to catch up with her. After that Xiao Jing say Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin replied to her that as you wish. After three days later, Lin Kei saying to Zhang that those two guards are probably both third level martial masters. People in the Gao family may be stronger than them. Zhang replied to him that the Gao family is known for martial arts. 
and it's said their leader has been a grand master. Lin Ke saying to Zhang that him, I am more curious about two will also attend the hero's summit. Zhang replied to Lin Ke that except for disciples from every sect, people from Strange Wood House and Nine Tripod Palace get the most attention. Lin Ke was surprised and asked to him that Strange Wood House and Nine Tripod Palace. Zhang replied to him that right, the former is known for medicine. No one is better than them at identifying herbs and storing them. And the latter is way more popular. As the top pill marks, they use a way called Nine Tripod to play a full role of common herbs. Pills made in Nine Tripod Palace are the best. Someone claimed people could return to life after taking it. Lin K thinking that coming here is surely worth it. I need to find a way to get some pills from them. After that Zhang came near to the guards and saying to them that I am from Zhang family in the Yin prefecture. Here is the invitation. One guard say that you may come in. The other guard saying to Lin K that the hero's summit is held here. Only martial arts artists have an access to it. Then Zhang tells the guards that Mr. Lin is martial arts artist. He's surely qualified for this hero's summit. Guards were surprised and one guard asked to them that any evidence. How do you prove it? The other guards say that he's right. Shut up or you will also get out of here. Zhang saying to the guards that tell your leader to come out. I will explain it to him. Guard replied to him that you have no right to meet our leader. At that time, Ziyu and Xiao Jing came there, and Ziyu saying to guards that let them come in. Xiao Jing saying to Lin Kei that here you are. Ziyu saying to Lin Kei that I can show you around here. But you would better make any trouble. Do not mess with people attending this summit. They may kill you. I am not sure I can protect you if you make any trouble. Xiao Jing smile and saying to Ziyu that don't worry about it. They would better not mess with us. People were talking to each other and say that did you hear that? There is a master, turning up in the Ling prefecture. And people call him Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal, are you kidding me? Sounds like he's a con man. I agree, he tricked people in the Ling prefecture. But I won't fall for his fraud, and neither will others attending the hero's summit. We're real masters. Lin Kei saying to Xiao Jing that your cousin just told us not to make trouble. Just stand here and watch what they are gonna do. Xiao Jing replied to him that such a bunch of baggers. Why don't you show what you have got Mr. Lin? At that moment two guy came there, then one guy say that Mr. Lin from Strange Wood House is here. Here comes Mr. G from Nine Tripod Palace. They are Mr. Lu and Mr. G. Mr. G have a spiritual herbs that has grown for a century. Could you use it to make pills? Then one guy asked to Mr. Lu that I had a relapse a few days ago. Could you give me a treatment? Mr. G replied to him that please calm down, everyone. Since we are here today, we are supposed to help each other. But the pills we brought here this time are limited. I suggest you take out your treasures. And if there's anything we want, we will exchange it with our pills. Then Mr. Jin asked to Mr. Lu that what do you think? Mr. Lu replied to him that very well. Then they visit the place where people show their treasures on tables. One guy saying to Mr. Lu that please have a look at treasure. The other guy say that my treasure is way better than his. Please look at mine, it won't let you down. One guy asked to Mr. Jin that I am here for you, Mr. Jin. And prepared three rare herbs. Could you please use them to make pills? After that Lin K take out their pills on the table. One guy saying to Lin K that are you sure you just take out a black pill? Most of the people here are brilliant alchemists. You will embarrass yourself. Lin K replied to him that never mind. I am sure about this. The guy saying to Mr. Ki that have a look, Mr. Ki. And if there's anything you like, just take it away. Then Mr. Jin asked to Lin K that are those your pills. Lin K replied to him that right. Hold on the pill. My pills are quite valuable. Before you check on them, you have to show me some herbs that are as valuable as them. One guy say that don't you know who is standing in front of you. That's Mr. Jin from Nine Tripod Palace. You should have felt honored to impress him with your pills. How ridiculous you are by asking for herbs. The other guy say that I agree. Maybe he used some mud to make those two pills. How dare he prepared them for Hero's Summit. Sham on him. The other one say that just ignore him. He's merely making a fuss. Never mind that idiot, Mr. Jin. Take a look at our treasures. Then Mr. Jin asked to Lin Kei that here is a bottle of recovery pills. Is this enough? Lin Kei replied to him that not at all. People say that what a fool. 
Except for Mr. Jin, no one can make recovery pills as worth a fortune. Exactly. That kind of spiritual pill can stabilize our energy, which is of great help to cultivators who suffer from hallucinations. I am afraid some people are even willing to run out of their money to get that bottle of recovery pills. One guy say that Mr. G, I can give you all pills I have in exchange for one recovery pill. The other guy replied to him that come on. One recovery pill is way more precious than all of you have. After that, Mr. G put the bottle on the table and asked to Lin K that in this bottle of immortality pills. Enough or not, Lin K replied to him that alright, you may check on my pills now. Mr. G was surprised and asked to Lin K that are those refining pills. Lin K replied to him that previously, they're called marrow purging pills, which have an incredible effect on cultivators. People are talking to other and say that incredible effect. What a bragger. I have never heard of this kind of pill in my entire life. Stop lying to us, young man. If Mr. G hand not come here, we may have had faith in him. Then Mr. G asked to him that did you make those PLS? Lin K replied to him that it was me. Then Mr. G saying to him that how many do you have? I want all of them. People are shocked and say that what? Mr. G believes in him. That's crazy. He's surely lying to you. Mr. G, don't believe him. Mr. G replied to them that shut up.